Hello everyone, my name is Nachiketa and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the top sources for obtaining data sets for machine learning and deep learning problems. If you're starting with any project and let's say you have learned some model and you want to implement it on some real world data, I'm going to show you which platforms or sites you can use to get that. And I'm going to show you the five best sources and I'm going to show you how you can use them. Other than that, there are some other popular sources as well, which I'm going to leave a link for in the description so you can check them out over there. So let's get started straight away. The first website is of course the Kaggle platform. I've talked about this in a lot of videos as well. So you simply have to go to the data set section in Kaggle. And the good thing is that you can search for any problem. Let's say I'm looking for a practice in computer vision models and it will show you the best data sets or the top challenges in the field of computer vision. And you can see the famous iris problem or horses and humans data set. And the good thing is that if you click on any data set, it's going to talk about what the description of the problem is, as well as it will show you codes, which other people have contributed to this field and you can check them out. And if there are any specific problems in this data set, which can be seen in the discussion, what other people are talking about this problem. So it's a very great thing for a beginner. So you can search for any problem if you're looking for uh, any specific domain or any specific type, you can simply search that and you're going to get a good data set for that over here. The second best resource, I would say, which is even better than Kaggle, uh, would be the Google's data search engine. And I'll leave a link for this in the description as well. And the thing about Google is that if you search for any data set, let's say I'm looking for cancer problem. So it will get data sets from all websites on Google, right? So it will in turn uh, internally get data sets from Kaggle as well or some other IEEE websites and it will give you a link for them and you can explore that over there. Right. So all the uh, data sets on the internet which are publicly accessible would be listed over here. All right. So there is also another good option that you could be exploring. The third best website that I would say would be which is again very popular is some, a repository which is maintained by University of California Irvine. A lot of, and a lot of the data sets which are used for research purposes are uh, listed over here. You can go to view all data sets and you can filter data sets according to categories as well. If you want only a classification problem, a regression problem, or are you looking for, let's say only time series problems, you can uh, get that over here in a list and you can see a lot of things about the data set, like which year they're published in, uh, how many attributes they have. And you can search over here as well. If you want uh, data sets from a particular domain. So this is another thing that you could be using. If you are an AWS user and you're building applications on AWS, then you should go to registry.opendata.aws. And these are the data sets that is already available in AWS servers. So if I search any problem over here, I'm going to get related data sets over here. And the good thing is that if I'm using any AWS application, then this data set will be very quickly loaded onto my workspace and it will be very easy to uh, work with this data set because it's already present in AWS servers, right? You will be able to find the resource names and the region in which these data sets are hosted. So, so for AWS applications, this could be a good place to check if a data set is available or not. The last website that I'm going to show you is specifically for computer vision problems, which is by the name of visualdata.io. And here again, you have a lot of data sets available from different platforms. Even Kaggle data sets are going to be listed over here. And you can filter them according to if they have been published in any research papers or are any code or model available for them? Is a commercial license available for them? So I think this is a pretty interesting thing. And if you click on any data set, it's going to redirect you to some website from where the data set was. And and you will be also able to see what code is available for them. So I can see that TensorFlow models are available for this particular problem. And you can see some features about the data set as well. So I think these are the five best resources where you will be able to find almost any data set for your given problem. And there are some other websites or resources as well, which I'm going to leave a link for that in the description. So I hope you liked this video and if you did like it, do like it and subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing out a lot more videos in the coming time. And see you in the next video.